This video discusses topics that may be disturbing to some viewers. It discusses cases of missing and or murdered victims whose case was solved using forensic genetic genealogy. Viewer discretion is advised. It was November 2008 just west of the city of White Swan, an area located in Yakima County, Washington, where some skeletal remains were found. Due to the location of the remains, both the Yakima Nation Tribal Police and the Yakima County Coroner's Office both investigated hoping to be able to identify the remains as soon as possible. It was thought to have been that of a female. Both agencies tried to come up with a traditional DNA profile. But the skeletal remains unfortunately yielded no profile that could be used to identify the remains. At that time any and all leads that came in regarding the case were followed up on but unfortunately none of them brought any answers, leaving the case to eventually go cold. Fast forward to 2022 roughly 14 years after the remains had been found the Yakima County Coroner's Office reached out to Autherm Labs in order to see if they could come up with a DNA extract that could be used in identifying the skeleton. Autherm's forensic scientists were able to come up with a profile. Through genetic genealogy they were able to test a person thought to be related to that of the unknown skeleton. The DNA matched and with that the Yakima County Coroner's Office was able to confirm the unknown skeleton found in 2008 was that of Daisy Mantolman. She was also known to some people as Daisy Meheath. She was born January 10, 1958. According to some reports Daisy was in White Swan staying with some of her family. White Swan is an area of the Yakima Indian Reservation. At the time of her disappearance the only items found was her keys and backpack which were found in a closed area of the reservation known as Soda Springs. Daisy was last seen around the end part of August and was reported missing on October 29, 1987. Daisy would have been roughly 29 years old at the time she went missing. Her cause of death and the manner of such will remain as undetermined until further concrete facts are made available. The funding for her case getting the forensic genetic genealogy testing and processed was provided by the Washington State Attorney General's office. Daisy, I hope that you can finally be laid to rest with your name attached and my hope is that there will be someone that hears this that if they know something that they will begin to speak up so that your case can be considered truly solved.